Russia has a fearsome reputation in the world of cybersecurity. They are known for producing some of the most skilled and notorious hackers globally. Their exploits have targeted governments, corporations, and individuals. This dominance is the product of historical, cultural, and educational factors. Emphasis on STEM fields and a culture of ingenuity have created fertile ground for hacking. To understand Russia's current dominance in hacking, we need to rewind to the Soviet era. The Soviet Union emphasized technical education, especially in mathematics and engineering. This focus was driven by the need to compete with the United States in science and technology. Generations of Soviet citizens received rigorous STEM education, laying the groundwork for advanced technical capabilities. This foundation, combined with a culture of secrecy and espionage, created an environment where hacking skills could thrive. With the fall of the Soviet Union, this expertise found new outlets in cybercrime and private cybersecurity firms. Russia's education system continues to produce highly skilled programmers and computer scientists. The country boasts a number of prestigious universities with strong STEM programs, attracting talented students from across Russia and beyond. This emphasis on technical education is commendable, but it also has a darker side. The same skills that can be used to develop innovative software or protect computer systems can also be employed for malicious purposes. The allure of quick riches in the world of cybercrime is a powerful motivator, particularly in a country where economic opportunities can be limited. Moreover, there is a perception, whether accurate or not, that law enforcement agencies in Russia are less likely to pursue cybercriminals, especially if their targets are outside the country. This creates an environment where hacking can flourish, often with little fear of consequences. Section 4. Shadows in the Digital Age – High-Profile Hacks Russia's prowess in hacking has been on full display in recent years, with numerous high-profile cyber attacks linked to Russian individuals or groups. These attacks have targeted a wide range of entities, from government agencies and political organizations to corporations and financial institutions. The methods employed have been as diverse as the targets, including phishing scams, malware attacks, and sophisticated data breaches. One of the most notorious examples is the 2016 U.S. election interference, where Russian hackers allegedly targeted both the Democratic and Republican national committees, as well as individuals associated with the campaigns. The stolen emails and documents were subsequently leaked online, causing significant disruption and controversy. This incident highlighted the potential of cyber attacks to influence political processes and sow discord within societies. Section 5. Behind the Code – Understanding Russian Hacker Groups The world of Russian hacking is not monolithic. There are various groups with different motivations, targets, and methods. Some have close ties to the Russian government, acting as proxies for state-sponsored cyber espionage. Among the most well-known are Fancy Bear and Cozy Bear, linked to Russian intelligence. They have been implicated in hacking the Democratic National Committee and the World Anti-Doping Agency. Section 6. A Cyber Powerhouse. Russia's Complex Relationship with Hacking Russia's dominance in hacking is a complex issue with no easy answers. It is the product of a confluence of factors, including the country's historical emphasis on technical education, its culture of ingenuity and risk-taking, and the economic opportunities presented by cybercrime. While it is important to acknowledge and address the threats posed by Russian hackers, it is equally important to avoid generalizations and recognize that not all hackers from Russia are malicious actors. Russia has the potential to be a force for good in cyberspace. Its technical expertise could be harnessed to develop innovative cybersecurity solutions or to combat cybercrime on a global scale. However, this will require a shift in mindset, both within Russia and internationally. 
Building trust and fostering cooperation will be essential to creating a more secure and stable digital world.